Hey, we're building from the ground up. Just going to point out a few nuances here. By the way, keep your eye on this side yard because once we get to the end and we see how beautiful the landscape designer did, it's going to be great. Of course, this lot is fabulous. You know, here's the thing, guys. The new construction in Charlotte, it's hot, just like resale. And if you find a lot that you like, you might want to just jump on it if you can. So one thing to point out, there's one window here in the front because the two windows, uh, the one on either side that uh, is not available yet. So that's kind of holding up the progress there. Uh, otherwise, uh, they would have sided that front when they sided the rest of this. But uh, they got to do what they got to do, right? Lumber prices are up and uh, sometimes getting a window or getting uh, other materials can be a little bit of a challenge. Wow, this is really a cool finished garage. And once it's built out, that's going to be neat. Uh, guys are real pretty blue in there. Of course, they are boxing all this in really nice. So paint, let's talk about paint. The last time we talked caulk and they came through before uh, this final coat of paint, but this is really turning out nice, right? And uh, it's interesting the difference in color. You can see it a bit from the white to the, really it's kind of like a light gray. And you don't always know that when you're uh, in the design center and you're you know looking at a swatch or a wall that's been painted but uh, and then the reality comes in so this is why you want to have a good relationship with your builder and you want to just stay in touch you want to be kind uh, and ask respectfully uh, about what's going on but here, here are those two windows so those will have windows the middle one's 3060 three foot by six foot the ones flanking six inches smaller two six uh, by uh, the six foot. So these are good sized windows. Eight foot doors, really lovely, nice, nice, nice. It's starting to look like a house, isn't it? Oh yeah. And uh, don't worry when, if they get paint on the, uh, uh, the windows here because that, they'll all be scraped out and you don't have to worry. A lot of stuff you don't have to worry about, it'll get taken care of. Here's another example of the white and then that, uh, it, the clients thought it was an off-white. It's got a little tinge of gray, but you can see up there they'll cut that out uh, in terms of you know fine-tuning all that. Boy, it's pretty, guys. So we just want to talk about it because the sequence is a little out, meaning that that front siding would would have been done, but it hasn't been done. And as a point of reference, I'm just going to stand right here on this uh, uh, right by the stairway, just as a point of reference because uh, cabinets are coming and the builder just walked in so he's on his job he's working hard today but man this is turning out nice and honestly just wanted to catch a glimpse of the light uh, as the sun is rising right over there and this lot again the colors the nuances in fact that coffer you know the last time we looked it had caulk but now look at all that beautiful paint pulling it all together so there is a sequence we're a bit out of sequence because uh, for those windows, but the builder has punted nicely and uh, the expectations have been set. So you look at that sun coming in from that side. That's going to be a nice outdoor living space. So guys, guess what's next? Oh, this is a cool thing. And here's what I want to explain to you because a lot of this series is to help set expectations for those of you that are building. Typically the builder, when you say, well, when will the house be done? When will the house be done? Again, it's 2021, baby. Nebulous times, right? Who knows? But what typically happens is when the, the builder will tell you, hey, when the cabinets get in, that's when I can give you a firm close date. But the cabinets are coming <clears throat> and he will not be able to give us a firm close date because we're waiting on those two windows. So just be patient. Uh, be, uh, remain a little bit flexible. I hear if you stay flexible, uh, you live longer. I think David Mamet said that. One thing this uh, <clears throat> client did, see those wires hanging out from up there? I don't know if you remember this in a previous episode. If you're watching the entire playlist, if not, uh, stick around to the end and you'll see an opportunity. Those two wires are because the client decided to put a couple of switched outlets up there so that on top of those 42 inch cabinets, they can install some type of lights with a switch. So that's going to be a cool effect. And I hate to keep coming back to this pantry, but man, this is a work of art. This is a very simple with some one by twos and some MDF and just uh, painted turning out really, really nice. So guys, 
We are building from the ground up. If you have any questions, give me a call, 704-345-3400. We'd love to help you in your quest uh, to relocate to the greater Charlotte area or move laterally if that's what you're doing. Thanks so much. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.